Hello everyone, in today's session we are going to discuss one of the most important relation in your relation and function chapter that is included in your class 12 syllabus. Also this particular relation is included in the 8 main types of relation that you have in your syllabus. Now in today's session we are going to discuss the identity relation in details. Also we are going to discuss the difference between identity relation and reflexive relation. Alright, so a lot of students often confuse identity relation with reflexive relation but there is a stark difference between identity relation and reflexive relation. Also for those of you watching this video for the first time let me tell you that I have already completed empty relation and universal relation. Both the videos link you will find in the description so do go ahead and watch those videos as well. Now without any further delay let's get started with the video. Now first of all before we get started with identity relation a quick revision about what do you mean by a relation. So we know that in case of relation we talk about a set say suppose in our case the set has three elements a b and c now the second important thing that we talk about in case of relation is the cartesian product of the set with itself now in case of cartesian product of the set with itself both the domain and the codomain are exactly same because they are the same set of course and how do you get the ordered pairs when you perform the cartesian product of the set with itself it's by pairing the elements of the set with itself each at a time now let me show you how like for instance a will be pairing up with a all right similarly a will be pairing up with b and a will also be pairing up with c that will help us to get the first three ordered pairs that will be a comma a a comma b and a comma c all right now the same thing will happen in case of b as well and we will get three more ordered pairs by pairing b with the three elements of a itself like b will be paired with a again b will be paired with b itself and b will also be paired up with c okay that will help us to get the next three ordered pairs that will be b comma a b comma b and b comma c now you have already understood that how do you get the ordered pairs and similarly when we pair up the element c with the remaining three elements we will get the remaining three ordered pairs that is c comma a c comma b and c comma c so this is how we get the cartesian product all right now a very important thing that a relation from a to a is also known as a binary relation in a it's also known as a binary relation so do remember this particular term very important it is known as a binary relation in a now this binary relation now which binary relation i'm talking about this a comma a where a belongs to capital a now this will be called as a identity relation all right identity relation is often represented by capital i so this particular relation will be known as the identity relation and you have to remember that only the elements which are exactly similar will be included in this set that means if i use the roster method then i will have only three ordered pairs here a comma a b comma b and c comma c all right so this is the identity relation in definition wise if we see in an identity relation every element of a set is related to itself only okay this is the important word which you need to remember because in case of identity relation you will end up getting only three ordered pairs a comma a b comma b and c comma c if the set has three elements that is a b and c now let us talk about the difference between identity relation and reflexive relation now a lot of students here confuse that reflexive relation is exactly similar to identity relation however I want to tell you that now there is a very big difference between identity relation and reflexive relation say for instance we have a relation R where we have the three ordered pairs that is a comma a b comma b and c comma c now this is clearly a identity relation as well because we have the three ordered pairs as per our definition but other than this suppose if we have one more ordered pair suppose a comma b it will not be identity relation because it has this extra ordered pair where the elements are dissimilar but in our case this will be a reflexive relation okay because it satisfies the condition it has three ordered pairs a comma a b comma b and c comma c it has a additional ordered pair but it doesn't matter so in this case we can understand that only if we have the ordered pairs where the element is only related to itself it is known as identity relation and in case of reflexive relation if we have an additional ordered pair other than the ordered pairs where we have similar elements then it will be called a reflexive relation now a, one more important thing that we can call a identity relation a reflexive relation but identity relation cannot be reflexive relation in all the cases okay so this is the video guys i hope you have proper insight about what is identity relation and what is the difference between identity relation and reflexive relation in case if you have any other doubt regarding this particular session do feel free to comment in the comment section 
I'll definitely catch up with you people with remaining relations, which is very, very important in the coming days. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. And if you like the video, do hit the like button. Till I meet you next time. God bless you and thank you all.